For Alvaro Silberstein, co-founder and CEO of Wheel the World. I'm 38 years old. Since I'm 18 years old, I, I have a spinal cord injury at level C5. I have paralyzed my body from the chest down. Travel oftentimes seemed impossible until he traveled to Patagonia and made major strides as a disability advocate. I became the first person ever to complete the W trek in Patagonia in the end of the world. I realized that it was possible for me to travel to any place, but also at the same time um, realizing that how hard it is for every person with disabilities to travel. Using the power of technology, he and his co-founder are making travel more doable. What might be accessible for one user could be completely inaccessible for another. One of those destinations they book vacations to is Mesa, Arizona. Already more than 300 people has uh, booked trips to Mesa through Wheel the World and visit Mesa and um, with disabilities. Wheel the World has done a profile of over 30 different uh, hotels, attractions and tours throughout our city with over 200 points of accessibility information. State law prohibits discrimination against people with disabilities, and many buildings and parking lots are already accessible. But Allison Brooks with Visit Mesa says there are other ways the partnership will benefit visitors. It's more about the education and just doing a better job being able to accommodate our visitors. One in four Americans have a disability. So when you think about, all of us know somebody has some sort of disability, so we always want to make it an inclusive experience. And other cities in Arizona are also following suit. Tucson and Scottsdale are currently being evaluated by Wheel the World on their accessibility and could also soon receive that verified seal from that organization. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.